Welcome to Expert Village. My name is Wayne Peterson, and I direct the Massachusetts Audubon Society's Important Bird Areas Program for Massachusetts. Today, we're here at the Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary in Marshfield, Massachusetts, and we're going to be talking about the equipment needed to get one started in birding. In addition to optics, binoculars, and telescopes, obviously having appropriate clothing is uh, something that's worth thinking about. Um, in the same way that hunters, for example, typically will wear camouflaged clothing to make themselves less conspicuous. Typically, you want to minimize your conspicuousness to birds. Light clothing, white shirts, white t-shirts, uh, that kind of thing is something that particularly in, in wooded or forested environments can be somewhat disruptive and can and alarm birds. So generally speaking, darker colors may be significant. Uh, think about what the weather conditions are. Obviously I have a hat on here and in bright sun that can be a useful way to, to reduce uh, glare, particularly if you're somebody who wears eyeglasses. Um, sun protection is very important obviously from a, a health perspective and if you're going to be spending a lot of time on the shore or in bright sun, hawk watching for example, looking up at the sky, uh, appropriate sunblock is, is useful. Likewise, insects can be pesky, so that for mosquitoes and black flies, you know, basic insect repellent is, is often useful. In extreme environments, uh, in Alaska and in Arctic situations, for example, where, where mosquitoes and biting insects can just be incredibly abundant, uh, sometimes actually the use of a head net of various sorts, the same sort of thing that fishermen will often use, can be useful.